Michelle. Acapac I live with my husband Thomas films. and our two daughters. Entertainment Normally, purposes only. I work full time as an employee. Another workplace at this issue. I got along Most really well likely. with the other employees. I am and the CEO a clone was of also Agent a Smith. really great person. I loved my job and my office. Good deal. Then out of all of those great people, looks like there is trouble. Real pain. Yes. Come. And that was my boss and, and department we manager, Mr. Cunningham. Are we really having another Mr. Sakaromi here in this video? Boss never. Even when I would submit all of my planning documents, he would say that he wouldn't accept my plan. And my, my uncle plan used to be close-minded, but one not day anymore. During the lunch break, he, he would actually lecture this bully into my about computer it. and deleted Whoa. all of the material another that I was in the middle path. of creating for an important meeting. Whoa! What? I can only think choice but to work overtime face. that day and stay late he into the night so that I could turn it in within the day. And I mean big time. On another time. When it came to the monthly review for that month, I was placed in last place out of all the employees of in our department Smith. that month. What the fuck? That monthly review was yeah. something that directly affected our bonus. Not you didn't turn in your materials on time. And you also don't even know how to meet deadlines for your work. Shut the fuck Obviously, up! Obviously, someone like that I am is going to be rated at last place. This. All I did Armor was give you the, the correct creator. rating. Check. What? Flaming pause. Do you have Check. some kind of complaint? And he shall then luckily speak for up me. to the CEO when the CEO about saw it. True. My he grandson, that but it's important to at least attempt and he actually to confront made the malicious Pac-Man. The well, that mm -hmm. fixes that, everything. I was able to but receive still, the correct Aaron, review he and rating that reflected my her. abilities in the job. Okay. So when I came to the room, my precious man was also And also because my colleagues at work were all such great people. You don't need to worry about it. It's only because Mr. Cunningham is jealous of you that he treats you like this. Reminds me of Ralph and being jealous at us for having unique powers. However, one day out of oh, nowhere, no. I received a phone call from Something my father with, with some devastating news. Oh, no. He told me that my mother had cancer, and she didn't have much time left to live. And our time in college I was always is very limited. close to the both of my parents. We have to spend time and together. And when I heard my father's words, I was so yeah, shocked and devastated that, 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 that yes, I couldn't contain my sadness. Principios. To be honest, true. he told me that they had heard from a doctor a while ago about the cancer. Despite the distance, I really wanted to see my mother, even if only for a little bit. So I explained the situation to my CEO. When I did, the CEO I was really empathetic. I did lose really my father before I became sad the titanium as if it was his own ninja. Family. He told me- Excuse me? What? So you think that your mom's illness is going to magically heal? Just be Look, my unlike friend, this serpent, if you're going to complain about this. It is wrath is allowing you to do something that, evil. That he, she got that permission it's time to bite to go his see her nose. mother. Look, Mr. Cunningham, you are being a mother ducking, condescending employee, and you're going to fall. You're going to seriously fall. You're going to be done. You can't worry about what Mr. Cunningham says. Don't let it bother you. It's an employee's right to take paid leave. So you should go ahead and take whatever leave that you need and go see your mother, okay? I agree. And Those that's the truth. Those are just as worried about your mother. He has no Mr. right to Cunningham harass her. Mr. Cunningham is the only one that would ever say anything otherwise. He is my In the office, everybody other than my manager was truly wonderful. Like this continued for about a year until one day, I finally received the dreaded phone call from my father that my mother had passed away. And my family and I went back to my parents' hometown. My mother ended up living about three months longer than the doctor predicted, and my father truly knew that. No, that my husband and father and I held my mother's funeral. When people found out about her passing, a lot of the neighbors, as well as relatives and people from far away, came to pay their respects to my mother. I was able to see in the very end just now, how many people loved my mother from near and far. After to my disbelief, when I arrived at the office, not only was my desk missing, but every single one of my belongings there were also no gone. Me que fue what? Esa what? Why are all my things? Are cutting him walking over to me fight. with a grin on his face. Ninja oh, are you looking for your stuff? I threw away Ninja all of your belongings that were here. Because a useless employee like you, that takes so many days off of work, isn't necessary to this company anyway. Shut the fuck up. You are the useless one. Was a contract that was going to be signed with one of our biggest clients today. What? Oh, we're he's meant done. to be signing that contract today with he a will major be exiled company, from the and that's why I left a printed copy out of the confidential yeah, contract on my desk. Pero, pero, and there's no other copy of it. Where did you put it? This is a I make into mistakes a too. Panic. No matter how many times I asked him where he threw it away, and all he was saying that it was none of his business. Maturity. And he was trying to get his employees started arriving to the they office, know the and they saw the commotion they ran over. I get disgusted when a pack mate doesn't admit his wrongdoings. I have nothing to do with this. The condescending boss is immature. 
important to your own boss. So you're going Callate. to take full responsibility no, for this. Do you hear me? Culpa. <laughs> I like the way she's thinking to remake the contract, contract because the company's client arrives for the meeting eventually. Mistakes or any yes, missing components JJ. Just in case. Mm, okay. She's Contacted free them. from the matrix. Thankfully, she said that Praise she still had her. the file. Okay. okay. Uh, the client was going to be coming to our office first thing in the morning. That's a relief. Morning, but I still had a lot of tears. After all of that, the client None of this would have happened if that condescending boss never disposed essential documents that the narrator made. We're talking for the sake of it. Addicted to betrayal, aren't you relevant? It's terrified to look down. Well, that's strange, isn't it? The CEO is activating Marco Player mode. Strange, sir. Actually, I just received a phone call earlier. It was from a contractor saying that he requested for a massive amount of personal belongings of one of our employees, but that they realized there were computers and important-looking documents in there. Surprise, mother fluffer. Oh, he is so done. Wow. How is it He's going to put an end with his sad excuse of a manager. Never in his wildest <laughs> dreams could Mr. Cunningham have imagined that the CEO would know about the situation. And he was completely pale as the CEO was speaking. Fluffface. Proverbs 18 verse 12 hates haughty behavior. I also heard from my secretary you should read the that verse. you guys were all working very I am serious. closely together. And that you managed to secure the contract with the major company as a... Praise to them. And I was ecstatic and celebrated on the Woe spot. to that so-called Agent that, Smith. For nearly destroying such a major contract and for throwing away an employee's personal belongings without any permission, Mr. Cunningham was immediately fired from the company. Yeah, yeah you're bad, sir. You are condescending. Yes. He had to get. This is nobody mess with it. Mr. Cunningham is always had it out for me in particular. Well, that did it. But it turns out that Another a lot of other employees defeated. had also had negative experiences with Mr. Cunningham, and so everybody celebrated when he was fired from his job. At oh, our company, trust me, the previous CEO Aaron, was brainless, that's only and that's the where the current CEO took over. Yet again, but apparently, Ninja Mr. Cunningham was quit. hired by the yeah, previous hi, hi. CEO and was sucking up to these pieces of crap. I will never hire them in Microsoft. According to rumors through the grapevine, Mr. Cunningham didn't have any need skills to, to begin with, and he was just smart about how he maneuvered his way around the important people. But that wasn't going to work anymore. He couldn't find a new place to work, and perhaps ran out of money because somebody said that they saw him completely run down holding the convenience store, buying left over from the old cash price. Want more content like these? Be sure to subscribe, comment, share, and leave a like. Together, the pack supports thriving.